Good morning. I'm Suzanne Harrison, Vestry Clerk and Stewardship Co-Chair. I'm excited to be here this morning with my sidekick, Brian Hetherington, to launch our annual stewardship effort, along with a capital endo and endowment campaign. While they are two campaigns inspired by love, they share one mission. To put it simply, our mission is to sustain and strengthen the ministry of St. Mark's. But we all know it is our ministries that make us unique. Whether it is laundry love, outreach, pastoral care, music, you name it, we are all inspired by some facet of our life together. While our fellowship with each other and God may have begun within the walls of St. Mark's, our true mission is to stimulate a desire to share with others the joy we find in our relationship with God. My own relationship with God started early on when I was baptized at St. Paul's Episcopal Church in Westfield, New Jersey. In 1979, my parents whisked us away from that idyllic town where we lived on a quiet cul-de-sac surrounded by friends and playmates. We landed in New Canaan, none too happy about it, on what seemed a vast property in the woods, compared to our old neighborhood where we could practically reach out and touch our neighbors' homes. My parents had the good sense to join St. Mark's, where we quickly found community in New Canaan, and I am so grateful for that. Throughout my life, St. Mark's has been a sanctuary, a place not unlike Cheers, where everybody knows your name. I'm comforted by the solace I find here, especially when life throws you curved balls. And there are a lot of those when you're raising children. My faith in God and the community at St. Mark's are foundational pillars in navigating life's curveballs. And I'm hopeful that together we will continue to enrich those pillars. As Brian likes to say, now is the time. And to that end, we're kicking off the public phase of our capital and endowment campaign. Our plan is to build on our current momentum to make sure that St. Mark's remains a vibrant and important presence, somewhat like a rudder that provides solace for all of us in this turbulent and ever-changing world. We began the quiet phase of the capital campaign back in the spring, and we heard many heartfelt stories of lives changed, of healing and re reconciliation, and the importance of clergy and staff leadership who bring our ministries to life. We invite you to participate in those conversations at our upcoming fellowship gatherings, where you can learn more about the Inspired by Love campaigns and how you can participate. We hope you will sign up for one today or RSVP to the invitation that will be in your mail later this week. Thank you for listening, and most especially, thank you for your generosity to St. Mark's. And now I'll hand it over to Ryan. Thank you, Suzanne. Can everybody hear me? Yeah, so Jane calls me a soft talker. I apologize. I'm decent one-on-one, -on -one, but this is not my medium. Um, being Suzanne's sidekick, is like being Charlie Munger to, to his leader, Warren Buffett. Uh, mostly I'm tempted to say I have nothing for her to, to add because she did such a great job. But, but I also want to thank Suzanne for being such an inspiring leader for the rest of us in the campaign. I would say I want to thank Janet Prills with us and Don Palmer who's here um, uh, for really making this really easy and light work for me personally. Uh, I also like to say it's been a terrific experience to witness just how much Peter, Justin, and Elizabeth mean to all of us in visiting with some of you in your homes. And that's really what the campaign is about, to help fund this great pastoral work that they're doing. Uh, and as Suzanne mentioned, and Peter, uh, we need it now more than ever. Um, I won't, I won't bore you with my spiritual journey other than to say I was super lucky to be curious early. I remember my parents being shocked that I asked for a Bible, a new Bible, uh, for Christmas one year in college. My mother was thinking, geez, maybe this is it. Maybe you'll be a priest. <laughs> Didn't happen. <laughs> uh, maybe I was too guilty about my hits on the football field. Um, but we, things really started to kickstart for me in understanding God and his relationship to my life and how to live a better one after I got married to Jane and we 
had our first kid and ended up members here in 1997. Um, and we were sitting in the back row trying to keep our kids quiet, um, but taking it all in. But things really started to, to take off for us when I asked, um, how can I help? And so that was about 10 years ago. And uh, luckily, uh, they saw through me right to Jane, and she ended up on the vestry very quickly. Um, but really what I'm here to ask you for today is, please consider this is your way to help this year. Please make St. Mark's an important part of your giving this year. Please volunteer to come to a small group meeting uh, and thank you for some of those who have already come. Um, please see how you can help spread the message to your friends and neighbors. Um, this is our time. Uh, Jane and I really do have uh, decided to make this our top priority in terms of our gifts over the next three years. Um, we just can't think of a better place uh, to fund the growth of, uh, of our ministries here. Um, there's no comparison. Our return on invested capital, not to, not to make it too much about finance, is just unlimited here. And uh, I'd also like to, to thank all of you in advance um, for praying for the success of this campaign. Um, Tom Berardino asked me to let you know that this is the most successful campaign we've ever had in the history of St. Mark's capital raises, um, but we're just getting started. So please help us out. Peace.